back to Pete Plays Pokemon Blue. We are here last time we went through the Nugget Road. Today, we're beating Misty. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a long time coming. I've been looking to do this for like the last couple episodes, but we'll finally get through this. We'll wrap up our adventures here in Cerulean and we'll move on to uh, Vermilion City. A couple, couple little side quests coming up too along the way, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So, uh, I'm going to start this week off with our question so that I don't forget it because I totally forgot it last week. Sorry about that. Um, so this week I'm going to ask you guys, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, who is your favorite starter Pokemon from any generation? Uh, if you guys have been following along here, you know that my favorite is Squirtle and the Blastoise line. Uh, so I was just figured, you know, I'd open up the floor for you guys to see what other generations you might be interested in, aside from the classic OG trilogy of Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not a, uh, like a hardcore Gen 1-er, but, you know, you never forget your first, right? So I, uh, I definitely have a special place in my heart for Squirtle. As far as the other generations go, I'd probably say Totodile is my favorite for number two, um... I love Mudkip as well. Uh, it's past that where mm, I, you know, I, I really like Empoleon. Um, I could really do without uh, Samurott and uh, this gen as well. Popplio, um, a little lukewarm there as well. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, and uh, Greninja. Greninja is fine as well. I'm not like I know Greninja is like insanely popular as far as uh, water types go, and I've just never really been too attached to him. We've got the Amiibo, he's a cool guy, but meh. He's, uh, meh, you know, he's, he's whatever. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. This is actually going to be the first generation uh, with Sun and Moon where I don't start with a uh, water type. I'm, I decided I'm going team, hashtag Team Rowlet. So, there's another, there's another fun question, huh? If you guys are, uh, if you're planning on getting Pokemon Sun or Moon, uh, which of the three starters are you going to be? picking there. I'll give you two, right? That makes up for last week, huh? So, yeah. Uh, if you guys are hashtag Team Rowlet like me, let me know in the comments below if you're going with Litten or uh, Poplio. You know, you can go with whatever there. I guess probably Team whatever the hell they are. And you can uh, show your Gen, what is this? Gen 7? Yeah, your Gen 7 pride. So... Other than that, in Slack and Slash news, uh, nothing too exciting. Um, you know, we had E3 coverage the last uh, weekend, a half, going on because we had a ton of trouble on my end editing some of the videos and getting those up. I edited our, our Sony cast, if you haven't checked it out, it's an hour long because they had so many announcements we were excited about. And uh, I had. I think it ended up being six times trying to export it before we finally found a way to get it to go without uh, crapping out on me. So, uh, <laughs> we were a little bit uh, focused on E3 stuff for the time being, and um, yeah, we didn't end up covering the, uh, the Nintendo business, even though we originally thought we would. Um, we got a conversation about it, but by the time all of the, uh, the nonsense had been taken care of with the other casts, we just kind of decided to let that one fall by the wayside. So, if you guys are interested in hearing about my uh, my thoughts on all the new Sun and Moon announcements, you can let me know in the comments here, or hit me up on Twitter, and we can have a conversation about it. Or, uh, you know, I can maybe make a video about, about that stuff specifically, if you guys are interested. You know, I figure at this point, you know, you guys probably already know all about all the new Pokemon and all that stuff, so we didn't feel like wasting your time with old news. Um, but yeah, I mean, I gotta say, I was really, I was really into this year's E3 showing. Um, you know, I, I usually have a lot of fun with E3, but, you know, oh jeez, that's gonna hurt me bad. I forgot Goldie and Carrie's pack. Yikes. Sorry, Toad. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I'm always excited for E3, but, you know, it, it can be a mixed bag, and a lot of times, you know, uh, it, you know, it's a hype machine for sure, you know, and a lot of times the excitement over... The news or about what's coming can be a lot better than the reality of what we end up getting. Um, but I have to say this year was a, a pretty impressive showing all around. I thought Microsoft had a really great conference. 
and I was really amazed that I, I really thought Sony kind of blew them out of the water, which I don't think, yeah, I, I keep forgetting it potions. Oh well, uh, we'll get we'll get Khaleesi out here. Um, you know, I, I really thought that uh, that Sony blew Microsoft out of the water, which was something I wasn't expecting after what a strong showing they had. Uh, I was a little disappointed Nintendo didn't have more for us other than just Breath of the Wild and Pokemon, but you know what they had was was pretty cool. So um, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed some of the announcements from E3 this year as well. Um, I know there's a couple new Pokemon that just leaked earlier today when I'm recording this, which is Thursday. Uh, you guys will be watching it on Friday. But uh, I haven't checked them out because I'm actually trying to avoid seeing any more um, new screens for the game if I can help it. You know, I know it's, it's kind of my uh, my job to, to commentate on, oh Jesus, on what's new and exciting in games. And you know I love doing that for you guys. But uh, for my own enjoyment as a Pokemon fan, I'm trying to avoid any more spoilers so that I can, um, you know, just kind of go into the game fresh. Uh, kind of like I did with X and Y, where I knew, you know, a little bit about about the environment. I'd seen some of the Pokemon, but when they started leaking more stuff, I just avoided it because, you know, I, I want to enjoy the game um, as though I'm a normal person instead of someone who, you know, peers over uh, screenshots and, and trailers and all that stuff. I'm really excited by what I've seen so far, and it's enough for me. I'm interested. I, I want to play the game and experience all that stuff uh, in-game. As opposed to, oh cool, look at that, Khaleesi's evolving. Yeah! I love the neariness sprite in this game. Alright, cool. I have to look up a, a list. Hey, you know what? Here. Pause in the episode. I'm gonna heal up my mons. And we're back here with more Misty fights. Alright, well not more Misty fights, Misty's fight. You know what I mean. We're fighting Misty in the Cerulean gym. Let's do this shit. Um, yeah, I agree. Well, not all out offensive with water type Pokemon, but water type Pokemon, yeah! Good stuff, Misty. Alright. Gonna have to take out this trusty Star You Star Me combo here. Let's see if Toad can put in some work. Uh, okay. So yeah, what were you we talking about? Oh yeah, we were talking about Sun and Moon. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm good. I'm good on the hype train. You know, I'm, I'm ready for Sun and Moon. I want it in my life. So I could not be more excited for the fall. Which is cool. Like, this is the most hype I've been for a, uh, a new Pokemon game. Well, it's not exactly since X and Y, right? Like, that's not a big deal. Um, but I mean, I, I was really excited about X and Y authentically in a way that I hadn't been in a long time for, like, just the actual game, you know, versus, like, the metagame and, and playing competitive Pokemon. Um, whereas X and Y got me excited because, you know, the new visuals and everything, it really felt in a lot of ways like it was um, kind of a callback to the original adventure of the, uh, of the you know, of these games, of, of Blue and Red, which I talked about a little bit with you guys in the first couple episodes where I think um, Pokemon... Pokemon Red and Blue specifically have a really unique, uh, very special quality, in my opinion, um, that was lost in some of the later games. There's there's a weirdness and a kind of somberness to it at times that once it became kind of a worldwide sensation, um, was just kind of bred out. And not to say that, that that nature was seen back in X and Y, I don't think we'll ever see a Pokemon game like that again unless they really decide they want to break the formula and try to have something that is aimed at uh, an older generation, like, you know, like, oh my god, that bubble beam, though! Whew. Um, people our age, you know, pe the, I'm assuming people my age are a little older and maybe even a little younger who are watching this now, um, you know, I don't necessarily think we'll ever see that tone in a Pokemon game again, but what I liked about the X and, uh, about X and Y, or at least the promise of X and Y, was what seemed like uh, more of a focus on exploration and um, that sense of adventure. And I, I would love to see that come back in, uh, in any Pokemon game at any capacity. Um, but hopefully, you know, maybe it is just me being optimistic, but uh, I'm very excited about, about the promise of this new region. It looks very interesting to me. And um, the fact that it might not be one huge landmass, uh, the fact that, you know, it, we might have 
just a, a more uh, broad range of environments to explore is is exciting to me. I, you know, I uh, I'm I'm really optimistic about about Sun and Moon, and I really hope they can deliver. So I uh, hopefully you guys are looking forward to them as much as I am. You know, I, I would love I would love to do a play for playthrough of it when it comes out for you guys. But if you know anything about capturing uh, 3DS content, you'd know how impossible that is. So. All right, look at that. We took out Misty, guys. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna take a bite. What, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we'll get rid of Tackle. I'm gonna get that Bubble Beam TM. Not that I really need it, but... Meh. All right, I got the Cascade Badge and a ton of money. Thanks, Misty. Now I can use cut anytime. Cool. Oh, shoot. I mean, okay. Got it. Alrighty. We're gonna cover a little bit more ground before we call it on this one. You know, I know, uh... It's like a, it's a nice logical stopping point, but... We, uh, we got a lot, of, a lot of ground yet to cover in this series, and I'm already well behind where I wanted to be, so we'll, 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 we'll at least get us to, like, the next, the next little bit. Alright. So, yeah, if memory serves... I, is, I know there's bulbs on here. I think I can get old rod in here, maybe. All right. Oh, no, this is the guy I can, I can trade for a Mr. Mime or a Jinx. Polyworld for a jinx. No, I do not want a racist ass caricature of a black person in my party. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I can get a rare candy back there, but F that. Alright, cool. Yeah, this guy's out of the way. I can fight Team Rocket, get Dig. And then we'll, uh, we'll get ourselves over to, to Vermilion, and then maybe we'll call it a day. A couple more battles along the way. I feel like he's one of the only grunts in the game that has a Machop. Like, I feel like you normally, you know, like normally they have uh, the poison types or like normals like Rattata and, and Raticate and stuff. I don't feel like you see a lot of them with Machops. Maybe memory's just not, not serving, as is proven time and time again on this Let's Play series that it's been a few years since I played the original Red and Blue, so I'm, I forgot a lot of little, little details that I thought I'd remember. Which has actually honestly been a lot of fun. It's been great to uh, be able to like re-explore some of this stuff with you guys. Oh no, the crit hacks had to come back and bite us sometime, right? That really sucks, man. Like Toad, I don't know. I don't know if Toad's gonna hack it, guys. I might have to replace him. He's he's really not doing so hot. Maybe we get ourselves like a Bell Sprout or something. I do love Victory Bell. Alright, yeah, I can take out a drowsy. That's fine. It's such a... <laughs> I never thought about what a weird sound effect that is for a drowsy. Drowsy's like a really creepy Pokemon when you think about it. Sneaks into little kids' houses at night and eats their dreams. He just like seems like a creep. Look at him. That creepy smile. I don't know about him. Kind of looks like... He just looks like a... A creepy, like voyeuristic taper. You know, it's like he's just like peeking up over your window, like Ooh. I don't know. I I'm not a fan. Not a fan. And Hypno's an asshole. Like Hypno's straight up an asshole. And they're not even good either. Like their stats are like pretty garbage. You know, my good buddy Eric, who's probably watching this right now, is freaking out, talking about how good he is in PU. If you're playing Smogan. P.U., that's a tier in Smogan for literally garbage Pokemon, because they stink. So, that tells you all you need to know about how good Hypno is. You know what? I got that dig. I'm actually going to use that on uh, Khaleesi. She could use a nice stab ground move when she evolves. Oh, she can't learn it yet. Okay. We got, I got I to gotta look at... Uh, uh, attack sheet for her and see if it's worth it to evolve her yet. I know I want to 
at least consider evolving her before level 20, because then I think she gets thrashed just like Nido King, which is pretty sweet. But if it's at the sacrifice of something else, I might need me. Nidoran male. Trade it for my Nidoran female. Nidoran male is way harder to get. Like, that's not even a good trade. At least in this game. It, that was my experience, anyway. Where, you, like, we tried for it, because I love me some Nido King, but... I think... Mm, you don't have a trade, right? No, yeah, you're just... You're just telling me that I can find a... I think it's like an ether down there or something. Let's see... There's like a bug catcher over here. Yeah, hey, hey, what up, dude? My time to catch some new Pokemon here, finally. We're really gonna finally see some new species out in this area. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Toad's still, still down. That sucks. Really would like him to get some EXP. Yeah, at least Britney Spiro's gonna get to put in some work. Because, I don't know, she's she's probably more salvageable. I, I feel like she's she's done a lot better, especially the last couple, once I gave her that little bit of power leveling. But, I don't know, they still go down, like, glass cannons way too frequently. Boom! That one-shot crit. Spoke too soon. Britney Spiro putting in that work. Right, what do we, so we got another... Okay, great, another Weedle. Oh, no. Thought I might have to deal with a Kakuna that has Harden, at least. Take it, take it there. No whammy, no whammy. All right, cool. No poison. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it after all, guys. Sweet. I think it's level twenty for Firo. It's gotta be coming up pretty soon. It's good stuff. We're we're getting the gang together here. Mm, I'll save these guys for later once my uh once my other pokemon are a little bit stronger because if i if i run britney britney spirit too ragged she's definitely gonna just go down and then we'll have this consistent leveling problem we've been having persist yes yes this is good we need this should be an easy one for her oh wow really ah yeah all right there we go i'll take that take a nice little evade there Yes! Go for it, Britney Spiro. Put in the work. Are we, oh my god, I wish I had quick attack right now. Oh, alright. That's fair. That's fair. I can't be too upset about that. Mm. Oh, no! That sucks. She goes down without getting any of the experience after all that luck. That's really unfortunate. Oh, well... What? God damn it. Son of a bitch, man. This son of a bitch. That's super effective, too. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Nope! Oh, no. Oh, I really thought he was gonna go for the sleep powder again. Oof. 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 Hmm. This will be fine. Man, guys. We had it all, and you know, those this was rough. This was real rough. Okay, we're back. I went to a Pokemon Center. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't handle it. Couldn't waste all that good EXP. Yeah, I'm trying to think um, of like what I'm trying. I've been trying to decide. I've been thinking about it a lot lately about what other Pokemon I want to get in this party for the the rest of this Let's Play. I'm I'm down to switch it up a little bit, you know, like especially. You guys like decide you want me to use certain Pokemon or switch it up. That's totally cool. But uh, I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna get rid of Toad. He's been nothing but a liability. So I don't know if his IVs are just bad or what. But I think Brittany Brittany Spiro can can probably make the cut. But uh, I don't know about that uh, that Toad. I think I'm gonna replace him with a Bell Sprout, like I said. And uh, I don't know. Like I really love. I love Persian. I'm thinking about maybe using Persian. It's a nice blue exclusive Pokemon, you know? I don't know. Alright. We'll, we'll take this sucker out. 
head to the nearest Pokemon Center and we'll call it an episode, huh? How's that sound? Man, no, this is no good. These bird, bird types, Jesus. What am I fighting missing? No, no, these flying types are uh, really messing with me right now. It's no good. I'm just trying to power level my minds here. This is why I need to get that uh, that Needle Queen life going. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, fine. Just keep lowering my stats. That's totally good with me. I can handle that. No! No! Oh no. No, no, no. No. Oh, you're down. Damn it! Keep gambling and losing, guys. I'm gambling and losing. I'm gonna try another one of these. Let's do it. Do something right, you useless toad. This is no, no, no. Mm -mm. Whatever. I went back and got all of you guys healed up just so I could have you all die and have to rely on Leo anyway. So that says everything that it needs to say about me getting rid of the of, of you weak lot. No, yeah, it's fine. Leo will just power through because he's useful. Shout out to Wartortle for being the greatest. Come on, come on. One more good old fashioned water gun. So, you know, what is with this level 16 Raticate here? I was just watching a video that Matt Pat did over on the Game Theorists about killing Gary's Raticate and. I'll have you know that Radita doesn't evolve to Raticate until level 20. So what's going on with that? Hacks. I call hacks. These guys are hacking. Gary's hacking. Blue's hacking. That random guy's hacking. Alright. So that wraps it up for this episode of P Plays Pokemon. Thanks for sticking around with me and having some fun playing some mods. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please take the time to answer this week and last week's question in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter with your answer. And if you liked the video, please like it, consider sharing it with a friend, and subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. I will see you guys next Friday when we'll take on uh, the Diglett's Tunnel and the search for Flash and all other kinds of stuff. It'll be a good time. We'll see ya.